they have conflicts and civil war because you have accepting the other's uh, culture. But, but do you think it's okay to have sort of political control to um, uh, put political opponents in confinement, in prison for expressing views and ideas? No, we don't have it. We have laws in Syria and the laws are very strict and the reform is about the laws and when you change the law you can change the procedure. It's not about mood. It's not the mood that you send somebody to prison. If, 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 you, if you have to, there's a law and that law define when and decide when to send somebody out. They have a have judicial system. But you could change the laws if you wanted to, couldn't you? Yeah, but it's, you don't own the country. You leave the country, and that's the difference. So the laws, the laws is not owned by the president. It should be part of the reform, and the reform should be part of the discussion of the whole society. That's why you can lead, but you're, you're not the owner. If you want to go toward democracy, you don't practice your only yourself, which you define as dictatorship to be frank with you. Mm. <laughs> so this is a contradiction to say the dictator went to, to world democracy. You should have this consensus. Anything without consensus will fail mm. in any direction. But do you consider yourself a dictator? It doesn't matter how I see myself. The most important thing how the people see me. So you have to ask the Syrian people how they, they look at their president. But how do you see yourself? If you, I, if I you cannot be objective. I cannot be objective even if I want to say, I don't want to say, to talk about something in an objective way. Yeah. yeah. But I, I, did, I did notice that your recent re-election in 2007, you received 97.62 of the votes. Because it's a vote. That's very... It's that's not a, election. It's a lot there's, of votes. There's difference between vote and the elections. Mm. So you cannot use it as uh, something to say. There's no uh, other competitor. Mm. And uh, many people who doesn't want you, they won't go to vote. Mm. So 97% of the people who went to the vote not, the, not 97 of the Syrians. <laughs> yeah. Now, if I was, I was thinking before we sat down, if I was a Syrian journalist, mm. could I ask you anything? If uh, you can ask me now anything, any Syrian can ask me anything. Yeah? Of course. But you have a press or a, a, a press system yeah. that is, um, that has a, an understanding that there are things that they cannot describe or write about or report about. Would did, you agree did, on that? did anyone ask you what are you going to ask the president? No, no. well they <laughs> asked me but they, there was no, no problem in no. no. Yeah. I didn't I didn't I didn't have any idea about your questions. I know that. Yeah. So if you, if I'm free with you, how can I be free with you and I cannot be free with the Syrian? Because I can be free with the Syrians, I mean because the Syrian can be free with me, you can be free with me. Otherwise, I cannot be two, two person. I don't have schizophrenia. Mm. <laughs> let's, let's, let's look at, 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 go back and look at the region again. Yeah. Um, everybody, when you talk to everybody in the region, they say, mm. um, we want peace. Mm. How are you personally, as president of Syria, concretely going to contribute to creating peace in this region? It's very simple. If a thief steals your wallet, you will ask for a wallet to go back, including the money and the credit cards and everything. So this is how we can get peace. We have our land stolen by the Israeli, which is by occupation. We need our land back. Then the other part of the other pillar of the peace, beside the land and the rights and the sovereignty, is uh, the security, Secur security arrangements on both sides. That's very simple. The detail of this could be very complicated, but that's how we can achieve peace. And this is the only way to achieve peace. And we haven't achieved peace because these pillars didn't be, haven't been taken into consideration seriously. And, and what are you personally going to do in order to change that? To change, uh, well, it's, it's about how to see the, uh, the partners. Mm. It's uh, about two parties, Israeli and Arabs, and about fair-minded, uh, in impartial arbiter. I can change what's related to me, but I cannot find, I cannot create this arbiter, and I cannot force the Israeli to believe in peace. So it's about the Israeli changing themselves and about the American changing their approach after 19 years of failure. Mm. How do you feel, I mean, how do you feel about the Golan Heights? It's my land, very simply, by every means legal, political, national, it's Syrian land. It has to go back sooner or later. There's no other feeling toward it in, in any place in Syria. Uh, 
regarding any Syrian citizen. But if you, if you ask Israelis, they will somehow, a lot of them, say the same. That this is an Israeli, you know, that, that no, because is. regarding, no, because it's not my opinion. Mm. First of all, it's the reality that's been documented. Second, it's about the United Nations resolution, Security Council resolution, that said very clearly Israel has to withdraw from the lands that they've occupied in 1967. You don't ask a country to withdraw from its land. Is that true, correct? Mm -hmm. You ask a country to withdraw from lands that's been occupied. So it's occupied from who? From Syria. So it's Syrian land by international law. Syrian but, land. But land. some people will say that, you know, circumstances change. I mean, even in, in Denmark today is different than Denmark was some centuries ago because then we had parts of Sweden and yeah. Germany changed and so forth. Things change. Changed by the will of the people, not by the will of the war. By the will of the war, it, won't, it will not uh, change. Uh, otherwise, if somebody took your home, 30 years later, it's not your home anymore, which is not true. So it's the same. Mm. No, nothing, nothing, the right, could, uh, political situation changes, but rights doesn't change. It's your right forever. Do you believe that Israel has a right to exist? As long as we make peace with Israel, and that peace included the recognition and include uh, security arrangements and relation. What do you describe it? It's self-evident. But the recognition in the political meaning as yes, we recognize Israel will be the result of the peace, will not be before the peace. But I'm talking about the de facto, the, the reality. When I make negotiations with you, how can I, how can I make negotiations with you if I don't recognize you? But, but there has also been some questions about whether you wanted to negotiate directly with Israel, for instance. We did. We did in the 90s. We negotiated directly. Mm. So it's the same. That's what I mean. So let's look at the reality before looking at the statements. Mm. So I'm, I'm, t I'm giving you the real, the concrete things. I can tell you yes and no. But I'm telling you about the concrete things that we negotiated. What does it mean? So let's be realistic, more than uh, uh, romantic. Mm. <laughs> yeah. How do you feel about terror against Israel? What, what do, how do you find terror against Israel? That is a good question, <laughs> and I know that that could put us into an argument, but, but people will say that yeah. blowing up a bus, that having a suicide bomber yeah. um, uh, explode himself in a marketplace, yeah. that it's, is terrorism. Yeah, good, because it's like if you look at the big painting and you look at the uh, lower angel, for example, lower left uh, side of this uh, painting and say this is beautiful, or ugly painting. You have to look at the whole painting.